Greg Norman's golf achievements dwarf that of many golfers still playing the game. At 67 years old, Norman is full of life and successful, with enough money in the bank to last him another lifetime or two. We will be looking into Greg Norman's interesting lifestyle, and trust us when we say there's a lot to look at. Over the years, Greg Norman has been extremely successful and has kept that success up. How does this mega mogul live his daily life? Join us and let's find out together. In the 1980s and 1990s, no golfer could match up to Greg Norman's exceptional driving distance, power, and aggression, and talent with the golf club. He achieved so much and rose quickly in the rankings, earning himself the nickname The Shark. Before Greg Norman became one of golf's best players, he was just a boy born to Mervyn and Twenty Norman in Mount Isa, Queensland, Australia. As a youth, Greg aspired to become a professional surfer. He played other sports like rugby and cricket. His mother, Twenty, the daughter of a Finnish carpenter, introduced 15-year-old Greg to the game of golf when she taught him how to caddy for her at the Virginia Golf Club in Brisbane. In 18 months, Greg went from being a 27 handicap to a scratch golfer. At age 19, Greg garnered media attention when he appeared at the 1974 Queensland Open. Fans in the media were shocked to see that Greg was one shot off the lead after the first round. Greg began training as a professional as soon as his talent for the game was spotted. He started his career by playing amateur events around his home country and went professional in 1976. Greg joined the European Tour in 1977, clinching his first win the same year. By 1982, he was already the leading money winner on the tour. In 1983, Greg switched to the US PGA Tour. His first win on the PGA Tour was the 1984 Kepper Open. That same year, he also won the Canadian Open. However, Greg's first playoff loss in a major happened in that same 1984. Can you believe it? Do you think that some things... He lost to Fuzzy Zeller in an 18-hole playoff at the 1984 US Open. Greg Norman is one of only two golfers who lost in extra holes at all four majors. At the 1986 Masters, Greg almost snatched the victory from the Golden Bear, Jack Nicklaus, but he fumbled when he sent his ball into the stands. At the PGA Championship, he got the win snatched away from him by Bob Tway. The most famous Norman shortcoming was the 1996 Masters, where he blew a six-shot lead in the final round and lost to Nick Faldo by five strokes. Without a doubt, Greg is the most accomplished golfer of the 1980s and 1990s. His reputation for falling short of his fans' expectations almost tainted that, but that's only because the expectations for him were so high due to his incredible performance at the start of his career. Amidst these shortcomings, Greg had several wins, he won three PGA Tour money titles and three PGA Tour scoring titles. In 1995, he was named Player of the Year, and for a while in the early 1990s, he held the number one ranking for 331 weeks. In his time, Norman was one of the highest earners. He had earned $1 million five times on the PGA Tour. He was also the Tour's leading money winner in 1986, 1990, and 1995. He made history in the PGA Tour by becoming the first player to earn more than $10 million in career earnings. While he actively played golf, Greg Norman won 89 professional tournaments, 20 PGA Tour tournaments, and two Open Championships, one in 1986 and the other in 1993. Norman won the Order of Merit on the PGA Tour of Australia six times, in 1978, 1980, 1983, 1984, 1986, and 1988. In 1982, he won the European Tour's Order of Merit. He won the Varden Trophy three times on the PGA Tour in 1989, 1990, and 1994, and was inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame in 2001. Norman won the BBC Overseas Sports Personality of the Year Award in 1986, which he repeated in 1993 to join Muhammad Ali as multiple winners of the award. Norman was inducted into the Sport Australia Hall of Fame as a legend in 2007. Norman was successful on the course, and the same thing applied away from the golf courses. He built Great White Shark Enterprises Incorporated from the ground up and turned it into something enormous. Incorporated in 1984, the company has over 200 employees and pulls in sales of about $300 million annually. In 1997, clothing revenue from the company peaked at $78 million. 
Gulf World Business said the Great White Shark Enterprises had $175 million in revenue by 2000. By this point, Norman's earnings from his business ventures had far outpaced those from the professional tour, confirming his plans for a successful career outside golf. Greg used his golfing career to establish a presence in areas related to golfing before moving on to the lifestyle associated with the game. Great White Shark Enterprises Incorporated is involved in golf course design, turf farming, golf and lifestyle apparel, hats, wine, beef, restaurants, and real estate development. Early in his career, in 1984, Norman released Greg Norman's Golf Clinic, a golf instructional video. He later produced a few more instructional DVDs. Greg Norman, the mega mogul that he is, combined a wide range of interconnected services and products with an influence that extends beyond the game of golf. Norman is not the first golfer to build a business entity like this. However, he is the most successful. Players like Arnold Palmer and Jack Nicklaus have tried ventures like this, but none have been as successful as Greg Norman's Great White Shark. Great choice of name if you ask us. What better way to tell the business part of the golfing world that you have established to dominate? However, in 2016, the company changed its branding name to The Greg Norman Company. Greg's success in golf opened some doors to his huge success in the business world. Golf is usually known as a conduit for networking, and Greg used that to his advantage. He got advice and input from some of the world's biggest business moguls. The Greg Norman Turf Company is one of Norman's many enterprises. It is a spin-off of his golf course development and design. As part of a 1990 deal, Greg Norman invested in Cobra, a golf club manufacturer. He was an important figure in the development of Cobra Golf as a brand. Greg Norman is well known for his exuberant lifestyle. He plays just as hard as he works. He is always doing fun and exciting activities like scuba diving, buying business jets, flying helicopters, and cruising on yachts. This lifestyle helps stoke his reputation as the Great White Shark. With an estimated net worth of $400 million, there are only a few luxury items that Greg Norman cannot afford. He's living up to the fortune he has amassed on a cowboy ranch in Colorado and several other locations worldwide. Every once in a while, Greg stuns his followers on his social media platforms with some stunning photos of himself. He also posts several pictures of himself shooting and riding horses on his Colorado ranch. Greg Norman's Colorado ranch is an 11,000 acre piece of land estimated to be worth about $75 million. He also owns another property on Florida's Jupiter Island, which falls in the same price range. Despite so much space on his properties, Greg still travels to several A-list hotspots like Venice, Mykonos, and Los Cabos in his private plane. Greg Norman never fails to take a shirtless picture in every new destination he finds himself. He might be retired and pushing 70, but the former pro golfer has still kept his body in shape. Greg has revealed that he has only remained in shape by working out for two hours, five to seven times a week. He credits celebrity chef Donna Hay for changing his approach to health and fitness. Greg is married to Kristen Kuttner, an interior designer who delivers luxurious interiors and architecture to high-caliber clients. Kristen has been working in the hospitality sector for over two decades. She has lived in several countries like Germany, Thailand, Hong Kong, Switzerland, the United Kingdom, the United States, and Australia. Kristen married former world number one Norman in a private Caribbean ceremony on Necker Island, the British Virgin Island Isle owned by billionaire Richard Branson. Kristen is Greg's third wife. His first marriage was to Laura Andresi. She was a flight attendant on the plane he was traveling in. He has two children with Laura, Morgan Lee and Gregory. In 2006, Greg asked for a divorce, and Laura got a settlement worth millions. She also got away with jewelry worth $500,000 and a Range Rover vehicle. She also brokered a deal with Greg to ensure that her kids inherit his money and trophies when he dies. Norman caused a bit of controversy when he married his second wife. Chris Everett was the ex-wife of Andy Mill, Norman's best friend at the time. The timing of their marriage suggested that Norman and Everett divorced their spouses to be with each other. Just 15 months after their marriage, Norman parted ways with Everett. A prenuptial agreement before their marriage ensured that Greg could keep all he owned. Greg got engaged to Kristen Kudner just months after he finalized his second divorce. Since retiring from golf, Greg has still been involved with the sport. However, his level of involvement increased when he was named CEO of the Saudi-backed Live Golf Series. Norman's first order of business as CEO was to announce a groundbreaking series of 10 new marquee events to be held annually on the Asian tour over the next 10 years. 
representing a total commitment of more than $200 million to support playing opportunities and prize funds. This is one of the most significant investments in professional golf history. The Asian Tour schedule will be expanded with new events in Asia, the Middle East, and Europe beginning in 2022. It is intended to increase fan engagement, attract new commercial interest, and help stabilize professional golf after global disruption and uncertainty. Despite an exuberant lifestyle, Norman tries to give back to the community. Together with his father, Merv Norman, he founded the Greg Norman Golf Foundation in 1987. The foundation provides professional guidance and instruction to school students and those in other educational establishments throughout Queensland, as well as children with specific physical disabilities and junior members of golf clubs. If you enjoyed this video about Greg Norman, the mega mogul lifestyle exposed, check out the video on the screen now or the one we posted below because we're sure you'll like that one too. See you there!